Hey everybody and welcome to another video. Before we get started, be sure to check out my Instagram listed down below. I'd love to have you follow me over there and I post lots of fun crafts. Today's video is actually going to be an update from one that I did last year. So I took acrylic paint and I filled 24 ornaments full of 12 different kinds of paint. I did 12 glass and 12 plastic. I let them sit for a almost a full year now and I really wanted to show you guys kind of the update. How did the paint hold up? Which paint I would recommend? I'll put all of the links to the paint down below in the video's description. That way you can choose paint if you'd like to. But honestly, I think I was pretty surprised by the results and what really held up and what didn't. So I'm going to give you some up close looks. We'll go over the different paint that each kind of bulb is. And I hope you guys will enjoy seeing this update of the acrylic painted bulbs. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for we're gonna start and we'll just go down the row one to 12. So we're gonna start with number one. This is the Metallic by Deco Art Dazzling Metallic, Metallic Acrylic Paint in Festive Red. This one definitely did not hold up on the glass. You can see how see-through it now is. It has a cool effect but it did not hold up over the year. It looks really PC, like it all just kind of fell off. So this is 1G, meaning it is one glass. Let's take a look at the plastic one. This one looks like it held up slightly better, but still really, really bad. It's still very um, kind of cracked and terrible looking. So I would say this one definitely did not hold up. Next we have a two, which is our Deco Art Americana Multi-Surface Satin in Red Barn. So we have two in plastic. This actually looks like it held up pretty okay. I don't really see any missing spots or anything. This one looks like it held up really, really well on plastic. Let's take a look at glass. Again, I don't see any big glaring spots. This is dirt from um, the tape that was on it. But everything else looks really good. I would say that this Deco Art Americana, I would say would hold up for a while. Um, this would definitely be a choice I would use if I was gonna paint the inside of ornaments. Next on to number three, we have Craft Smart Metallic Paint. This is just in the plain color red. And this one did not hold up at all. It looks really, really bad. You can see there's big splotches in it. You can see through it. It really didn't hold up at all. So this would definitely be a lose for me because it didn't hold up on either glass or plastic. You can see the glass has like a lot of streaks in it as well. Not as bad as the plastic, but it's still got some like cracky streaks in it. I would say this one is a lose and I would not use this paint again for this. Next up is number four, Folk Art Multi-Surface in Engine Red. This one seems to have held up really well on the plastic ornament. I don't see any issues. It's really well covered. We don't have any cracking. There's no like spots where it didn't take. But if you look at the glass one, we've got some big spots where you can see that the paint is no longer adhered to. I would say if you were doing plastic ornaments, this would be a great option, but if you're doing glass, I would not recommend the Folk Art Multi-Surface. Next up, we have Folk Art Multi-Surface in Fiery Red. This is a glitter acrylic paint. And this one, it seems to have honestly held up okay. It's just not a very opaque coverage. But it was like that when we did them. Now it definitely has a nice glitter effect to it, but you can see that there are some spots where the paint kind of settled, but it does seem to have covered pretty well and I don't necessarily mind the streaks. The plastic one definitely did okay. The glass one has a few more issues where you can see there's a, like a streak through it, 
it's a little more noticeable in the glass and then you can see there's a big hole at the top so again this one did much better on the plastic but still not great number six is folk art enamel in engine red this one is a gloss and i've got it on plastic and glass and i will say that it never fully covered these very well it was almost too thick and you can see that we still have a lot of coverage issues at the tops of these ornaments both glass and plastic and the glass one is really really bad with the coverage so i would say these are both a no for me Number seven is Matte Top Notch Brand Acrylic Paint. I believe this is just a color, True Red. The glass is terrible. It literally didn't cover. You can see all the paint just ended up on one side. Really, really bad. This is not good at all. And then let's take a look at plastic. Plastic seemed to have fared quite a bit better, but still not great. There is still a little bit of like paint missing from the top there. But otherwise, this one did okay. I would say this one would probably be fine, but not my favorite. Number eight is Craft Smart Acrylic Paint in the color Holiday Red. This one, we've got plastic and glass. Uh, the plastic is really bad. You can see all the cracking in the paint. It really did not adhere to the glass. You can see where all the paint pooled there at the top when it was sitting. Definitely not very good on the plastic and the glass is just as bad where it's got all that cracking looking paint. It's just not a good coverage and it really didn't hold up. Nine is Apple Barrel Red in a flag red acrylic paint. And this one looks like it held up okay. The glass one is really well covered. I don't see any streaks. I don't see any cracks. And then let's take a look at plastic. Plastic looks just as good. No streaks, no cracks. Looks fantastic. I would say that number nine here, the Apple Barrel Flag Red acrylic paint worked really, really well. Number 10 is Deco Art Americana acrylic paint in true red. We've got our glass bulb here, well covered. I don't see streaks, I don't see cracks. Looks really, really good. Our plastic bulb looks to be the same. Now I did get a little paint on the outside when I was doing these, so that's you know my own fault. But everything else looks well covered still. Looks like a good paint. I would say number 10 is a winner. Number 11 is Apple Barrel Gloss Acrylic Paint. This is in the color Real Red. Taking a look at our plastic, we have a little bit of paint cracking right there on the back, but not too much, just a little. Doesn't look too bad. Let's take a look at glass. I'm not seeing anything on glass. Glass looks really, really nice. It looks like it really held up very, very well on the glass. So I would say with the 11, stick with a glass ornament and not plastic. The plastic does just have a little bit of that paint cracking where the glass one doesn't have any of that. And last but not least, we have Craftsmart Multi-Surface Premium Satin Acrylic Paint in the color Cherry. Let's take a look at glass. This one looks well covered. We've got just a tiny, teeny little bit of a cracking in the paint, but nothing that would be real noticeable unless you were staring at it. Glass looks really good. Let's take a look at plastic. Plastic's got just a teeny tiny bit right there at the top, but nothing significant as well. So I would say that the Craftsmart would be a good choice as well.